Cooper. I'm the Vice President of Business Development. This is Sean Kerrigan. He's the BC Commercial Manager for the Tenant Company. We're uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, opportunity to do a live demo for the EPS group um, on a couple of our small mini scrubbers uh, called IMOPS. Um, so just to start, I'll just give you a little introduction on on who I am, and then Sean will uh, take it from there as far as introducing himself, his company, and then we'll do a little PowerPoint for you, and then we'll get right into the uh, the fun stuff, the uh, the live demo of the uh, IMOP Lite and Excel. So just a little bit on myself. So I work for Enterprise Paper. We have a corporate supply program for EPS, um, where we do a lot of uh, equipment, um, as far as enterprise, we are one of uh, Western Canada's largest independently owned Canadian distributors. We always like to say that because there aren't, aren't too many Canadian owned distributors out there uh, across the country anymore. So we're we're one of the few uh, and the largest. We have over 250,000 square feet of warehouse space, over 27 salespeople to look after uh, your uh, EPS sites. Um, We've got over 11,000 products, uh, all within the cleaning, hygiene, and food packaging products. So we do everything from washroom products, paper towels, bathroom tissue, hand soap, hand sanitizer, cleaning hardware, cleaning equipment uh, like tenant. And we also get into the cleaning chemicals like housekeeping chemicals, dish chemicals, kitchen, um, and laundry. Uh, and we have the tech support uh, to support cleaning equipment, and the chemical side. So that's a little bit on enterprise paper. Um, and I'll just pass it over to Sean to uh, to just introduce himself, tenant, and uh, his PowerPoint. Excellent. Thanks, Henry. So my name is Sean Kerrigan. I'm the commercial manager for British Columbia for Tenant Company. Um, we're a full service uh, cleaning equipment company from small space, which we're going to talk about today, all the way up to the big large ride on scrubbers and sweepers so anything to clean your floor we we specialize in today we're going to talk about uh, mechanized cleaning the benefits of using a small space scrubber over a traditional mop or even a microfiber mop so how do you define a small space we define a small space as an area that is too small for one of our traditional walk behinds which is a 20 inch scrubber to get into so for you guys in your facilities that would be something like patient rooms bathrooms kitchens tub rooms dining rooms anywhere that you're currently using a mop and bucket so today i'm going to talk about three options our i'm off light our IMOP Excel, and then our CS16 as well. Anytime I go into one of our customers, the number one complaint that they have is I can't find any staff. So the biggest challenges are increase in labor. So June 1st, we had minimum wage go up to 1675. Uh, it's very, very difficult to find staff. The younger generation obviously doesn't want to be doing this manual labor. Um, and what I'm seeing is the current workforce is starting to retire. So they're sort of aging out. What happens is this becomes sort of a vicious cycle where if you can't find labor, you got to increase the amount you're paying and then your costs increase. So when people call in sick or something else needs to get done, the first thing that gets dropped is getting your floor, floor cleaned. So how does cleaning impact your bottom line? So automated cleaning equipment can deliver 90% cleaner surfaces. So what that means is a mechanized uh, auto scrubber has increased down pressure and uses uh, mechanical action to do a far better job than a mop and bucket. 85% of consumers say that cleaning is crit critically important. And this is the biggest thing that I've seen change since COVID is people want to see areas and, and facilities being cleaned, whereas previously this was all done at night behind closed doors when, when uh, retail and, and facilities were closed, but now people want to see that being done. Uh, mechanized cleaning helped with uh, airborne dust and bacteria. So what a scrubber does is it puts down water, scrubs it, and then sucks it up. 
so that the debris is actually getting lifted off the floor, whereas a, a traditional mop and bucket is just moving the debris around. So 80, 75 to 80% of most janitorial budgets are labor. So how can we drive efficiencies and be more productive? Scrubbers is a fantastic way to do this as it drastically increased increased productivity. The average uh, cost to train a new employee on this slide is a thousand thousand dollars. I think it's far more than that. But the key to this is how how do we keep our current employees happy and keep them um, in 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 employed with us, right? So people want to stay where they are if they're happy. So one of the ways is using mechanized clean to make their job easier and more efficient. And then obviously people like to see uh, clean businesses. And for you guys in particular, cleanliness is definitely a safety, safety factor. So for cleaning performance, scrubbers are far more efficient and effective. Uh, drastically increase productivity. Um, they increase customer satisfaction. So in terms of um, having and working in a clean environment, people really enjoy that. Boost efficiency. So this is one of the biggest factors is it saves money as it allows you to become and your staff to become more efficient and uh, enables them to do other tasks. So staff satisfaction, which I mentioned earlier, uh, with the current workforce uh, becoming older, we want to ensure that it's we have a safe and and uh, productive uh, facility to clean. So in order to that, um, uh, mechanized cleaning or scrubbing helps reduce physical labor. Uh, mop and buckets are extremely heavy, hard to move around, difficult to dump and fill. Whereas on, on auto scrubbers, far easier are easier and and uh, and better to use. So safety uh, with re with regards to this uh, mops leave water and uh, on the floor, whereas the scrubber will scrub it and then pick it up. So drastically increase slip and fall accidents, which helps with your uh, with your customers. So public health. So moving a mop and bucket is dirty. It's it's hard to do. Um, so this helps in re reduce the amount of dirty water that's being moved on the floor, whereas a scrubber will suck that water water up. Sustainability. So the, the scrubbers use far less water and chemical than a traditional mop and bucket. So again, that helps with your any uh, environmental initiatives you may have. And then as we talked about earlier, when you're able to, to do your floors a lot cleaner, you're way faster, sorry, you're able to redeploy that labor to doing other tasks. Uh, the scrubbers that I have behind us, they are uh, on average about five times faster than using a mop and bucket. So I have a video here that shows a great visual of the benefits of using a mechanized scrubber, which is one of our IMOPs, as opposed to using traditional mop and bucket.
So that was a video showcasing our IMOP light. Oops. No. So I think that showed a great um, a visual of how a, an automated scrubber picks up the soil debris in the floor and lifts it up and leaves the floor clean. Whereas a traditional mop just sort of spreads that around. I really like that video. So there's a lot going on on this slide, but I wanted just to, to touch on the number seven, which is the rechargeable battery packs on the iMOP family. They come with lithium, uh, lithium batteries. So just like your cell phone, so you're able to opportunity charge these and the larger sites will buy two batteries or two sets of batteries, depending on which unit. So they could have these, these units running almost 24 hours a day. So it's one, one of the huge benefits to, to the IMOP family. So here's a quick video on three different sizes of the IMOP. The IMOP Lite is a 14 and a half inch. The IMOP XL is an 18 inch. And the larger double XL is a 24 inch. So we have three sizes to fit any facility, any rooms or any challenging areas you have. It's just finding the right one that works best for you guys. That was a great visual to show the different sizes of the IMOP. So there's a lot going on this on this slide. I just want to highlight a couple things. First off, we talked earlier about productivity. Um, the IMOP XL is about 10 times more productive than a conventional flat mop or uh, string mop, sorry, and about five times faster than a flat mop. So some some pretty significant time savings there. And then also the dry time is, is very important as well. So this, this we talked about um, reducing slip and falls, whereas a traditional mop leaves the floor wet on a flat, smooth surface, the eye mop will leave the floor dry and safe to walk on after. And then with environmental concerns, there's far less water and chemical uses, usage as well with an eye mop over a mop and bucket or even a flat mop system. So some definitely some good benefits. So I just want to show one last video. This is the CS16. I have it back here and Henry and I are more than happy to come out and bring this unit to you. I'm not going to go over it today due to sort of lack of time, but this this is definitely a fantastic option as well. Um, and I just wanted to show you because again, this is this is a, a really good small space scrubber option.
So again, I think that gives a good overview of the CS16, a little different. It acts more like a traditional walk behind um, than the IMOP, but some places like that. So again, we have solutions to fit any environment or any situation that you may, may have and may need help with. So just want to quickly review um, what we talked about today and the, sort of the benefits of using an automated scrubber. So as we, we discussed a dramatic increase in productivity up to 10 times um, with regards to comparison between a traditional flat mop that allows your staff to do other things. Again, be more productive, right? Far better results, the increase in down pressure and mechanical action is, as you saw in that video, does a far better job than, than one of the traditional mops. Increased safety, we talked about uh, better dry times, which is very, very important, less slip and falls, less accidents, um, and an overall safer environment for your residents and your staff. Increased employee satisfaction, like we talked about with the um, aging uh, workforce. Scrubbers are a lot easier to use and handle than a traditional mop and bucket. And they're better for the environment. So less water consumption, less chemical use, um, which again, help help everything, help our environment as well. So any any questions on the presentation before we get into the, the, the demo? Live demo. I have a quick question. Sure. Um, I actually have a, a couple, if you don't mind. Um, okay, as I was just watching that, I, I wonder how do the corners really work? Like, how does it get into the corners, or do you have to go back with a mop still to do that? So it'll get it'll go almost into the corner because of the shape of the head. You do miss like a little four inch curl, so you'd have to either use um, a flat mop in that one area. It's um, what is. Sorry, Go ahead. sorry, Kelly. I was I was just going to add in there that, that um, um, over the last seven eight years, we've we've uh, one of our largest markets for our IMOPs or mini scrubbers has been healthcare uh, care homes. So a lot of our care homes have at least one or two of the IMOPs, um, and they just love it from an efficiency standpoint, environmental standpoint, ergonomics. Uh, kind of checks all those boxes, right? So um, yeah, so. It, so it's been a it's been a wonderful product for us. Great. Um, what is the weight? Because I saw them lifting it and stuff. But what's the weight of the um, the the not the large one, but the uh, the, mini? the light oh, is uh, it's under fifty pounds. So if you and it's even lighter if you take the batteries off. Okay. Yeah. So okay, perfect. Um, it's, it's, and. Do you recommend, so this would be probably for general floors. Would you recommend this product for kitchen, yeah, industrial you know kitchen floor? Yeah, exactly. We, we uh, um, most of our care homes, where they use it is they, they'll use it in the kitchens. We have a, a you know, a, a degreaser that will go with it that will work really well on food, food greases, but the IMOP works very well in kitchens. Dining rooms, residence rooms, nursing stations. Uh, it can kind of get in around all these little pieces of equipment. We kind of joke around and it's like a little dance partner, right? The like the staff love it. So um, okay. yes, it can be. Do you recommend be a separate one because of the grease that's in a kitchen to the one that you would use in some common areas, or do you find that you could use both the same one for both areas? Yeah, you could you could have a second set of brushes depending on uh, the type of flooring in the kitchen. You may want to have more of a, a stiffer brush um, for that environment, so you can switch brushes and and switch gears pretty quick. The biggest the biggest challenge I find with with food grease is you just need to clean the unit well after you do it in the kitchen because food okay. grease sticks sticks to everything and it smells. So as long as you clean yeah. it and what Henry and I have done in the past is there, there's a number of brush options. So they'll have a red brush, which is the stiffer brush used for the kitchen. And then the blue medium brush, which the, you'll see in here in a minute, which the units come with for general cleaning. Great. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so we're going to set up, uh, Sean will set up for the demo right now. As he's doing that, just wanted to point out a couple things. Um, just the relationship between enterprise and uh, uh, EPS and tenant. So tenant is the manufacturer. Enterprise, we are the stocking distributor in Western Canada. Okay, and yeah, we have a we have a program, a corporate program uh, with all those benefits with EPS. So I'll hand it over to, to Sean. So I'll quickly go through um, one, one of the amazing benefits is how to, to break this down and clean it. Both, this is the IMOP light. This is our 14 and a half inch uh, version. And this is the IMOP XL. This is the 18 inch version. Um, but again, in terms of maneuverability, these are fantastic. So this here is your clean tank. It just comes off. This here is your dirty tank. I can clean either of these units in about three minutes. And again, that's that's one of the fantastic benefits because if they're not going to clean it, then that can become a challenge. So when when we if you were to purchase one, we would come in and do a full on training so your your staff is is fully comfortable and capable of doing this. The IMOP light comes with a single battery pack. So this is a lithium ion battery pack. This unit will run continuously for about 45 minutes. But like I mentioned earlier, some of the larger sites will buy two of these. So you can interchange these with these and have this unit running almost 24 hours a day. And then the, the brushes come off extremely easy. So they just, uh -oh. just like that. So then what you do is you clean these, you wipe the, 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 the bottom, take your squeegee off, just like this, and then clean everything. So again, like I said, I can clean this in about three minutes, and then you put it all back together. So if there was any lifting or anything, this one is uh, quite a bit lighter than, than the XL. So if you need to carry these, I've sold this unit to places that have a small set of stairs. Um, so the, the, the user can easily carry this, this up a set of stairs. So to utilize the unit, you put the head down. This one has our kicks, has a kickstand. So if hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Could we have the presentation actually closed so we can see you on a bigger screen? Because right now we just see you up on the very corner. Sorry to interrupt. No. Sorry about that. That better? Yeah. And there we go. Yes. Is that awesome. better? Yes. Thanks for being a story about that. So like I was saying, this one has a kickstand, so if the, the user has to go pick something up, they can, they can use this, or they can run the unit with this if they're running, running it for a long period of time. But if you don't want to you walk trying to just keep it in your, your belt, and like Henry mentioned earlier, you can sort of dance with it. That's one of the benefits of this unit. How maneuverable it is. We need to get under tables, chairs, beds. And then when you're done, let go of the handle and lift it up. And this is that is the IMOP light. This is our IMOP XL. So this is our 18 inch scrubber. It acts and behaves the same way. So your recovery tank, your clean tank. This one here has two battery packs. So this unit here, you get up to an hour of runtime. So there's one battery on this side and then one battery on the other side. So if some of the largest sites as well, 
like I said, with that one, you buy two sets of batteries for this so they can interchange them and have this unit running all the time. And again, just like the other one, the, the brushes come off and extremely easy to clean. Okay. And like we mentioned before, there's there's different brush options for this. So there's a hard red brush, or you can get a pad where you pad driver where you can run pads. Some facilities like run pads as opposed to brushes. So this one's a little bit heavier. It's got a bigger head, so it's a little bit more productive. So it really depends on the areas in your facility you're looking to clean. This one has a little bit more down pressure. Like I said earlier, this one's got a little bit more run time. This one doesn't have a kickstand. However, it's got our, it, it's called an eye balance, which makes this handle extremely light. So it's very easy for the, the user to use this for long periods of time without any strain on their shoulders or their arms. This one has a little bit different trigger. So there's a, a knob, which you can select the different options. And then again, you just hold it at your belt. And you go. This one as well, we've got other tables, chairs, beds, the bathroom. And then just like hold the handle, turn the unit off, and lift it up. So in terms of maneuverability and productivity, the IMOF line is fantastic. It's fantastic. So it's it's but this is this unit right here is my number two seller aside from our standard 20 inch walk behind. Um, I love this unit and I, I think in terms of adding this to a portfolio in your cleaning um, system, that this is sort of a no no brainer. These are these are fantastic units. Yeah, the biggest benefit I see in healthcare obviously is it, it actually removes the dirt and the bacteria from your residence room or nursing station or dining room. It's not as as you know over the last thirty years, most people use traditional mops, and those do a fair job, but we do still push around dirt and bacteria. We're not actually removing it. So one of the biggest benefits, it actually removes it and uh, eliminates it. So, yeah. Okay, so I think that's our the end of our live demo presentation, that part. Um, I guess for the last, maybe the next five or 10 minutes, if we have that much time, Regina, we could take any more questions. Um, and I believe the video is going out to the entire group. I think Regina is probably going to uh, pass on our email contact information. So if anyone would like to talk to us, ideally we'd love to bring out uh, the IMOP uh, or any of our little mini scrubbers or larger scrubbers to do any on-site demonstrations and presentations so that you guys can see uh, the equipment in use and how effective uh, ergonomic and just see the results firsthand but uh, yeah would there would there be any other questions at this point question about you said about recharge time how long does it take for the batteries to recharge to full capacity so if you full if you fully discharge them so the run the say the imop excel for um the full hour it's about two two hours to do a full recharge but because they're lithium, you can opportunity charge them. So if okay. if you bring it down to 20%, it's an hour to get it back up to 100. So if you run for 20 minutes, they go for a coffee break, you can stick it on a charger, top it up, and have them constantly charging. Okay, thank you. All right. Regina, what are your thoughts moving forward? Uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, doing okay. the live demo yeah. and actually walking through everything. Um, and as you said, yeah, what I will do is I will definitely circulate this recording along with both uh, of your guys' contact information. 
um, I think it would be a very valuable uh, webinar for people to actually watch. <laughs> um, and Kelly has brought up some really wonderful questions. Um, so I, I feel like a lot of a lot of the questions would have been answered if Kelly had that question. I'm sure everybody else has had too. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you. As I said, thank you so so much for taking the time. Um, and I will be circulating this recording um, ASAP. Yeah, this is great. Thank you, Perfect. Thank thank you for you. the opportunity. We really enjoyed it. So, yeah. If anybody wants to see any of these in their facility, just reach out to Henry or myself, and would love would love to bring them by.